Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a pranayama practice called the Kapalabhati Kriya. It's one of the six Kriya Yogas in Hatha Yoga. It's a cleansing Kriya or a cleansing pranayama and can really be helpful to calm down the mind and actually even get the body ready and the mind ready for meditation. It's one of the first breathing practices I do before starting meditation and I'll then follow that along with other pranayama techniques as well. So to do this breath successfully, we're trying to keep the entire body relaxed and at ease and the only thing that we're working and moving is the abdomen. The out breath, the exhalation is our focus. We're doing it with the mouth closed. So on the out breath, you should hear a very clear sound of that exhalation of the breath through the nostrils. And I'll demonstrate right now. So that in itself was quite fast and deliberate so that you could hear the sound of the out breath. What else is going on is the moment I do that exhalation, I'm sucking the abdomen in forcefully using abdominal muscles but then I immediately relax it. So the in-breath actually allows my belly just to release. And that also pulls the air in for me to push back out. As I lift my shirt, you'll be able to see more clearly what's happening with the belly. As I take a deep breath in or just a general breath in, and the exhalation face is soft and I'm gonna pull and force the air out and the belly releases straight away. And again, the belly releases. And if I even try to accentuate the in-breath, you might be able to hear it on the microphone. As you can see, my face, my jaw, shoulders aren't tightening up or I'm trying not to. A little bit of my chest will rise and that's just naturally as this muscle draws in. So to begin, you can do one every two seconds, just so you start to get used of the way we're using the muscles, the sound of the breath, and also aiming to help practice soften the rest of the body. In the beginning, there may be tension in the shoulders, in the mouth, we're trying to have the tongue just gently on the hard palate above where the teeth meets the gums, just resting there gently. Face and jaw are soft otherwise, shoulders and neck is soft otherwise. Even the upper chest is trying to be relaxed. If you want to increase the speed as you feel you're getting better at it, do that. But you might find you'll start to fatigue in the abdomen. If you need to take a break, take a break. So roll the shoulders back and down, the head lifted, even the back of the neck is just a little bit elongated so the chin just gently draws in, just slightly. Shoulders are soft, chest is soft, hands are soft. You can do a mudra with the tip of the fingers, touch the tip of the thumb, the other three fingers are straight together and placing them down onto the thighs or legs, I like to usually place them just over the ends of the knees. You can do it with the eyes closed. Just let the breath flow in, flow out a few times. And even in the beginning, if you want to place one hand on the abdomen, so you can actually feel that air being pushed out and then the abdomen relaxing as it draws back in, ready for you to push the air out once again.
taking a pause, just letting the body rest. When you'd like to restart, start again. The tongue is resting gently between the teeth and the hard palate and the top of the mouth. Shoulders, chest is soft. Back of the neck is lengthened. And just resting in the stillness, observing the effects of the Kriya. Return to this breath every other day, start to practice it every morning before any kind of pranayam or meditation practice. I find it's a great one to help just calm down my mind. Also starts that cleaning out of toxins in the breath, in the body. Also massaging the abdominal organs in the cavity here. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.